Yo, how y'all doing, man? Um, this video basically gonna be about um, narcs and, you know, what they think about love. Because the narc don't love you. They just love the idea of being in love. Like, that's all it is. And I can prove it to you. Basically, let me run it down to you. See my fucking band-aid and shit? But yeah, let me run this shit down to you. Because first off, 10 times out of 10, a narc is going to already be in a relationship or they're going to be just getting out of a relationship um, when you're dealing with them. You know, uh, a lot of them are cheaters. Anyway, so um, that's, a red, that's a red flag right there. Um, like that you confuse. Like how you going to be in a 25-year relationship with somebody and then you just just jump free like it's just nothing like and all of a sudden like they just some bad person and like you been with them for 25 years like like how bad was they like you know like and and shit even if you wasn't bad you bad now god damn it shit the devil that took over your soul <laughs> That would have took your soul. If God ain't showed you no sign to leave, then that must be the devil in you. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a red flag. And um, then how they treat their kids—that's a big sign. How they treat their kids, um, how they treat their loved ones. I mean, they, when you first get around them, they're gonna try to be normal as can be. You know, um, they basically gonna be just reading you. Just be, being a reflection of you, basically. What you want to see, that's all. So, um, you know, future faking, you got to just peep the inconsistencies. Um, sometimes they might be jumping in and out of city to city, town to town, inconsistent, job to job. Um, so if they got inconsistencies with their life, then if they, get in, they bring that into your life, like, what you think? Like, it don't matter how consistent you is. Your shit going to get inconsistent as fuck just from fucking with them and their energy. Um, and then another thing, too, you just want to um, watch out for um, how they treat they self. Like, and you can get food because they might know how to dress. Um, a lot of them do know how to dress. Like, a lot of them really can put on. You know what I mean? I know some of the best of the best. Like, you know, um, you know externally you know but you know on the inside it's a different story uh, um but yeah just just watch how they take care of themselves like a lot of them neglect health issues like it'll be something really going on with them sometimes it even be stds they won't even um tell their partners or even go to the clinic or anything you know what i mean like they will wait till they about to die and um they damn near on the deathbed and find out they got uh, AIDS or something. Uh, it's, it's just crazy. So just take heed to how they take care of themselves. Like, um, you know, how they take care of themselves, how they take care of their kids. Some of them kids be nose running, ain't no socks on their feet, like, just dirty Kool Aid all on their clothes. Like, they, um, they fresh. I'm talking about hair did. You know what I mean? Like, they looking like Beyonce's sister. You know what I mean? And they son looking like goddamn losing Isaiah. So, you just got to watch for certain signs and just know, like, and, um, you know, if you dealing with shit, that's why it's important not to even get in a relationship if you still have baggage or you still thinking about somebody. Don't even do that because you're not even going to be thinking clear. And that's what a lot of people do. They they get in a relationship with somebody to clear their mind. Their mind wouldn't even clear. They get in a relationship to clear their mind. How the fuck you going to do that, though? You know? So now they blame the other person. Like, no, motherfucker. Like, you should have took a break. Like, your unstable ass making another motherfucker energy feel unstable. Like, so... Um, we want to take heed to that. Um, just watch people, man. Like, please, man. I'm getting tired of seeing people staying with these narcs and having babies with these narcs. And I hate it, you know. I mean, 
it's not for me to hate, but I know they want better for themselves. You know, so part of me just want better. That's all, you know. But man, till next time, stay narc free. You know what I mean? Stay narc free, please, man. Cause they ain't they ain't in love. They ain't loyal. They don't love you. They just want to get you posted on their Facebook or their Instagram. They want to make their ex jealous. The person they just got out of a relationship with or somebody else that um, they trying to triangulate or something. Like, I'm telling you. Like, don't even don't even file for it. They not in love. They, It's impossible. They can't. If somebody don't love themselves, how can they love you? And a lot of time, people don't take time out to even see if somebody even love themselves before that gets reciprocated onto them. And now it's too late. Uh, you, shit, that's how they love they self. And you with them every day. So why would they, they gonna treat you better than they treat they self? Uh, I think not. I don't see how that'll work. But yeah, hey, stay focused, man. Like for real, stay narc free, y'all.